everyone, I'm Kayla from The Adventures of Kayla and Silas, and today I wanted to share some packing tips with you. Silas and I are getting ready for our first long-term trip to Central and South America, and we've finally whittled down our packing list and we're ready to hit the road. Now I wanna show you our five fast tips for packing our bags quickly and efficiently. Tip number one, use packing cubes to condense clothing. We like these Eagle Creek packing cubes, but gallon sized storage bags can do the same job. Simply roll up all your clothes and stuff them inside. Keep in mind that packing cubes only really save you space if you fill them up. Inside this bag, for example, I fit, well, let's just see. I have a pair of shorts, a pair of leggings, one, two, three t-shirts, I have a dress. I have a long sleeve, kind of like a thermal layer. I have, oh, my rain jacket. My rain jacket. And I have another pair of pants. All that fit inside this one little packing cube. Pretty cool, huh? The other thing you can do with packing cubes, say you have something kind of big, like I have this big scarf I'm bringing with us on our trip. Well, you could use a smaller packing cube like this one just for this one item to condense it down. So this is gonna be a tight fit, but I know I can make it work. So I'm gonna take my scarf, fold it up and roll it. Rolling is always good when it comes to packing. And then I'm gonna just stuff this thing full. All right, so you wanna zip it up a little bit at a time if you're doing a lot. That's the best way to do it, I think. And I know it looks like it's not gonna fit, but it's magic, I promise. These packing cubes are you know, maybe a little nicer, so I, I know I can push it a little bit harder. If you're using a Ziploc bag, you might want to tap out at this point. But with these, I know I can just keep Smush, push, zip. That's kind of the, the directions at this point. Oh, come on. I've got this like fringe on the end of my scarf and it doesn't like zipping up. I think I'm working up a sweat packing the scarf. And voila. So I have this huge scarf. If I don't want to wear it and I want to pack it in my bag, I can fit it in this teensy weensy little packing cube as opposed to folding it up and it taking up, I don't know, two or three times as much space. Tip number two, use rubber bands to hold your shoes tightly together. Shoes are always tough to pack. They're big and bulky and that's why you should always wear your biggest pair of shoes while you're traveling so they don't have to fit inside your bag. I'm wearing my athletic shoes right now because these are my biggest shoes but I'm also bringing a pair of Chacos and a pair of Toms. So I'm gonna use rubber bands, or in this case, uh, hair ties, and you just take your shoes, go the opposite direction, and smoosh, right? Then they take up less space. And if you grab a rubber band or hair tie, and you use that to hold them together, then they're, they're just less bulky this way. Tip number three, keep like items together. When you're packing for a long trip in a little bag, fitting everything in is always gonna be a struggle. However, you also have to keep in mind your ability to find what you need as you travel. There's no point in perfectly packing up a bag if you have to pull everything out at the airport just to find your passport. For this reason, you wanna keep certain items easily accessible and like items together. For instance, all of my important stuff is going to go inside my wallet and my wallet's gonna go in the outside top pocket of my bag. Super easy. So right here, here's my wallet, and then inside is my passport, my credit cards, my money, anything else I might need kind of quickly, like my chapstick, my sunglasses, all that goes in here. Uh, similarly, Silas has a ton of electrical cords and gizmos that he stores in a special organizer. This way, all of his batteries, cords, and connectors are all in one spot, instead of floating around inside his bag. Tip number four. Don't forget you can wear some of your items. Obviously everything I'm wearing right now is also on my packing list because it's going to come with me on my trip. 
Even though I have a jacket, a sweatshirt, and a scarf on my packing list, that doesn't mean these bigger items all need to fit inside my bag. Chances are I'll want at least one of them with me on a plane or in a bus. For this demo, I left my sweatshirt out. I'm wearing my sweatshirt, and it could probably fit in my bag if I needed it to, but I think it's more likely I won't want to pack it most days. Plus, if I don't want to stuff my scarf inside my packing cube, oh, I can easily wear it as well. Like so. Tip number five, versatility is key. While we have a pretty short packing list given the length of our trip to Latin America, we still tried to incorporate some versatility. For instance, we brought smaller backpacks for day trips. And I have a couple of tote bags for groceries or laundry. One thing we decided to add to our bags was the extra strap that came with them. Both of our backpacks are Osprey Farpoint 40s. These backpacks have a unique feature. We can actually zip away the backpack straps. So there's this hidden kind of, I guess, flap, I don't know. And it can just zip up doo -doo 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 -doo, to hide away, you know, the backpack, the shoulder straps for your backpack. And basically what it means is that my backpack turns into more of a duffel bag. Then we can take this other strap that comes with the bag, clip it on the top, and we can wear it on our shoulder. Pretty cool, huh? I think this is likely to happen on longer bus rides. We're gonna want our valuables with us in our smaller day packs, and these bags are just gonna be too big to be with us in the seat. I know that was a lot of information, if you ever have any questions for us, don't hesitate to reach out via email or social media. You can also find us in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Silas. Wishing you luck with your upcoming adventures.